So in the spirit of Thanksgiving, even though Thanksgiving was yesterday, I wanna talk about gratitude for today's video. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you're driving in traffic and you decide to let somebody cut in front of you and they get in your lane, but only they don't give you the wave. For my non-drivers out there, the wave is a symbolic gesture that you do in your rear view mirror to let the person know that you appreciate the fact that they let you cut in front of them. That stuff irks me so much to the point where I've actually contemplated following a person home, stalking them outside their house, and then waiting until they're asleep, break into their house, cut their hand off, tie a little bow around it, and then hang it on my rear view mirror as a reminder for anyone who thinks they can cut me off without saying thank you. I told you guys, I. I have issues. Anyway, all jokes aside, my point is that there's a huge lack of gratitude and a show of appreciation nowadays. And not to mention, we're constantly complaining about things we either don't have or things that we have to endure in our everyday lives. So one of the things that I often complain about is, you know, money. As you guys know, I'm a health coach and I'm out here hustling, trying to make a name for myself. But it can be hard because, you know, the industry that I'm in is very competitive and, you know, it's so easy to become a personal trainer nowadays. I mean, you could just take a weekend course and then, you know, you're, you're, you're automatically certified. And so trying to set yourself apart from everyone else can be very challenging. And, you know, oftentimes it, 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 it stresses me out. Like recently, I actually went through some pretty bad anxiety. My negative thoughts kind of got the best of me. And then a buddy of mine sent me this photo at three in the morning. My buddy works a cubicle job and was forced to bring his work home with him because he had to meet a strict deadline that week. And as shitty as this might sound, I actually felt great seeing that pic. Not to say that I, I, I want my friend to suffer. I mean, I, I feel for him. Really, I do. It just kind of gave me perspective on my own situation because I know what it's like to work a cubicle job. This picture in my friend's situation also kind of reminded me of this story that I once heard about this mystical Native American who sent out this invitation to a group of individuals who were currently going through some really hard times. His claim to fame was that he could get rid of any problem that you are currently facing. So the group of individuals accepted the invitation and they were brought out into the wilderness where they all congregated around the campfire. And there they met the mystical Native American who at the time was burning some kind of mystical ash, which I'm pretty sure it was just marijuana. From there, the group was instructed to breathe in deeply until they fell into a meditative state. Once there, they would have the ability to manifest the physical personification of all their problems and put it into the center of the campfire. So the whole purpose of this exercise was for them to put their problems into the center and then trade with somebody else and take on a new problem. So each one of the individuals walked around the campfire observing everyone else's problem. But what was interesting is that rather than taking on a new problem, everybody decided to take back their own problems. It'd be like you're at the campfire and you're like, well, I lost my job, y'all. And you put it in the center and then you walk around and you're just like, oh, oh snap, this dude got crabs and AIDS? You know what? I, I'm actually okay being unemployed for a while. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take this one back. And this is why expressing gratitude is so important because when things seem bleak in your life, it actually gives you that kind of perspective. So there was a study done that where they were trying to discover what it was exactly that made people happy. They had a group of people cultivate gratitude for a total of 21 days. And the task was they had to come up with three different things that they were grateful for each day. What they came to find was that people who actually cultivated gratitude habitually for the 21 days were actually 10 times happier than those who didn't. Because by having to come up with three new things that they were grateful for each day, it rewired the brain to scan the world for positivity. Which brings us to the homework assignment of the week, and that is to express gratitude daily. Now, for the next couple of days in our Facebook group, I want you guys to share one thing that you're grateful for on a daily basis. You'll get bonus points if you take a picture of the thing you're actually grateful for. You don't win anything other than street cred. So anyway, guys, it is extremely hot in my car and none of my windows work. So uh, I'm about to get out of here, but uh, I want to thank you guys all for watching this video and for continuing to join the move or not join. You guys are already members, but continuing to do these uh, weekly challenges. For those of you guys who are not currently members of the Project Push Start movement, then uh, you can click the link down below in the description and join the group. Let everyone know why you're here. And uh, if you're just joining, then you got a lot of homework to do because uh, we're about, I think we're seven weeks in right now. So anyway, I'm your boy Tactics. Peace and I'm out.